It is exactly 10 o'clock and we will be starting together this webinar. Once again, I would like to say you're welcome. My name is Francis Mtatina and I am your host today and I am Digital Strategies Leader in Life Ministry Uganda. I would like to thank you all of you who kept time and you are here with us. The numbers keep increasing. I'll be letting you know as more people come in. We see right now we are 46 and uh, here on our platform, we have an opportunity to engage with one another. And so I'm requesting that those of you who have arrived in earlier, you can go to the chat and type in maybe your name and where you are joining in from. If you are joining in from Gulu, from Nigeria, from uh, Kasese, whichever place, you're welcome once again. Today we are here for a vision casting event where we're going to talk about Hope 2020 vision, which is the gospel response to COVID-19 pandemic. As a nation, as Uganda, we know that we are in this with the rest of other nations. But as a nation, we are saying what is our response and is what we are going to be talking about, our gospel response as a nation. I would like to introduce to us a team of people that we are working together to make sure that this webinar is successful. On the team, we have Mr. Elon Katweheyo, we have Mr. Joshua Lukenge. Yeah, Mr. Elon Katweheyo is there on the video smiling. Maybe you can say hi, people will be able to see you. Can unmute Josh, uh, Elon first, say hi. Hello. Yes, it is a good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, thank you. And Mr. Joshua Kenge is also part of the technical team. You're welcome, Mr. Joshua Kenge. And uh, okay, is there? He, okay. Yes, you're very yeah. welcome. We are very happy to have you. And I can see our numbers growing more. Yes, they very, are very welcome. You're welcome. Then we have Mr. Alex Triagmanawe, who is also part of the technical team. Alex, you're welcome. You can say hi to us. Thank you so much. Uh, I am glad to be here, and I really look forward to hearing more from uh, us and from everyone. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Alex. We also have our main presenters, our panelists. I will be introducing them when their time comes. So right now, I would like to ask us to humble ourselves and pray as we start this webinar. And I will lead in this prayer. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. You are good to us. We love you, we honor you, we exalt your holy name. Thank you for being with us this day. This is the day that you have made. We continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we pray that as we sit together in this one hour to listen from you, the direction we are giving us as a nation, as your children in this difficult time of COVID-19, this pandemic has paralyzed the world but your word is active and living. And so we pray that even in this kind of situation, we'll be able to bring hope to people, bring a message in your word that is giving careers, giving hope, that is building up your people. For this webinar, we pray that you reign, you be with us. Guide us through this time. Speak to us through those that you have chosen to speak. We trust you, Lord. We know you are doing good to us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. You're welcome. Once again, I continue to welcome you. And uh, the numbers keep increasing. This is very exciting. We are now all together, 65. Even when I'm just saying a number, another one comes on. Today is going to be a very interactive day. You have an opportunity to chat with us while we go on. 
and the way you can do it on your phone on your computer in this platform there is an opportunity for you there's a place for chatting i also have a place where you can ask questions and the panelists the technical team and the host will respond to the questions you may be presenting you may be asking here there is that tab for question and answer which i would like you to also make use of and uh, when you raise a hand and we see it the technical team will get in touch with you via inbox chatting with you to see what you could be having and uh, right now we are getting ready to continue with our engagement i'll be inviting on someone who's going to be taking us through the very first moment that we have together and uh, let me come with him right now uh, as we prepare to receive uh, our first panelists, I'd like to welcome the national team leader of Life Ministry Uganda, Mr. David Wataba, who will greet us and uh, welcome us, and then we'll have our first one. Uh, praise the name of the living God, and uh, good morning everyone thank you so much for making time to come and join us i can see at the time i said good morning we were 69 now we are 71 so it's going to be a great day and we give glory to god for that we also want to welcome our dear brother dr tariku fufa he'll be introduced uh, later appropriately but thank you so much for making time to join thank us you. of course I know you have another engagement that is running concurrently, but we appreciate each one of you and I wish you the very best. Thanks. Thank you, the national team leader for that introduction and for the welcome. And uh, we are very glad that you introduced Dr. Tariku Fufa, who is the task force team leader for HOPE Hope 2020. Hope 2020 is a big vision. Uganda, we are part of this big vision. And uh, a while ago when I said I'm coming, I'm going to bring out next person, I was making a direct connection with Ms. Dr. Tariku Fufa, who is joining us all the way from Harare, Zimbabwe. So Dr. Tariku Fufa, you're welcome here. And this is your time for you to share with us about Hope 2020, the big vision which Uganda is embracing. You are welcome. Okay. Um, thank you so much, uh, uh, Francis. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Muchungaji David, the national team leader. Uh, it is a great privilege and honor uh, for me uh, to be here to join with you this morning, uh, Uganda, I always call it Uganda is like my second home. And uh, Uganda is where I was trained as a new staff training. So, so I would say, uh, I, I know some few words of Uganda. Um, Katonda Mulunji. Katonda Mulunji. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, what is um, HOP 2020? As we talk about uh, HOPE 2020, um, I just want to share with you that God is at work. Um, we all are right now uh, locked down. The messenger of the gospel is locked down, but the message of salvation is still spreading. God is not locked down. God is sovereign. God is above every situation. And the mission of Jesus Christ is a mission he gave us and make disciples of all nations still continues. And when Jesus said to go, um, he didn't specifically tell us how to go. So in the past, some have gone on foot, some have gone on the sea, some have gone on the air, some have gone physically, but right now we are going digitally. So Hope 2020 simply is a gospel response uh, to COVID-19. Every nation, every country, uh, every people have got a choice. How, how, how do they respond to COVID-19? But for us, we chose to respond to COVID-19 with proclaiming the gospel of 
Jesus Christ. And Colossians chapter 1, verse 27 reads, Christ in you is the hope of glory. So Christ in us, he is the hope of glory. So Christ is not very far from us. He is in us. So if we take him to every home, every screen, every, every mobile devices, of every radio, every TV station, and share with him, he gives hope to nations. He gives hope to Ugandans. He gives hope to Africans. He gives hope to the entire world. He, Christ is the hope of of today present and he is a hope of also the future. In 24 countries of Southern and Eastern Africa, uh, including Uganda, including Ethiopia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mauritius, Mayotte, Reunion, Comoros, Madagascar, Seychelles, all those countries, uh, we aimed to go on 500 universities, 716 cities. Uh, we wanted to uh, turn um, missionaries to become digital missionaries and so we started on the 5th of April and right now we are going and so our plan was and is, is to reach 100 million people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember right now people are in fear, people are in doubt and so we said if we take Jesus to them, yes he is the light Jesus is hope. Jesus brings just uh, life to everybody. So we said we take Jesus to 100 million people in partnership with the Jesus film. We said 5 million souls to make decision for Christ. So this was our hope. And then we, we also trusted God for 1 million multiplying disciples to be raised. So this was our goal. And so we said, Agility and strategy, that is like when Jesus said go, yes, the mission to go still stands, as I said earlier, but right now we all are locked down. So the only way we can go right now is digital. So in partnership with the Jesus Film Project, which Mr. David Watava heads for Southern Eastern Africa. So we said we take Jesus on every radio, on every TV, on every mobile screen, and on every website, on every social media. So far, since we started, actually from April 6 to May 5, we have seen 120,468,939 people hearing the clear presentation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We were able to go online using during Easter week, TV broadcast, radio broadcast, and then also using Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Paltok, all those things. We were able to share Christ, the hope of glory to over 100 million people. We've already passed our goal. What does this indicate? Yes, God is at work and the Holy Spirit is still igniting heart. We've seen uh, 4,377,595 people indicating decision for Christ. People who received to receive, uh, prayed to receive Christ. Right now, these over 4 million people, their name is written in the book of life. We may not be able to see them here. When we go to heaven, we see them. They are now ushered into the kingdom. So we can go using WhatsApp, the social media engagement, and then also other means, we have been able to follow up 569,790 people, over half a million people. We've already discipled them and is still discipling them. Then we have trained, mobilized people to go online and share. We've, we have helped 11,458 people to become digital missionaries. So right now, as a result, we have 332 churches or new discipleship groups with 1,688 members. So brethren, what is Hope 2020? Hope 2020 is simply preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to win souls for Jesus, build souls for Jesus, and then send them. So I encourage you in Uganda that you keep doing this. God is at work, the Holy Spirit is at work, thousands, millions of people are praying. These are the days of incredible uh, soul harvesting. These are the days of revival. Thank you so much. Let's keep spreading hope to nations. God bless you. Thank you.
God bless you, Dr. Tariq Fufa. Thank you for making time. We are aware that you are running another Hope 2020 campaign in South Africa. And so we will be letting you move there. But we are grateful that you made this time. And uh, this big vision that you have given us gives us an impression or a picture of what God is doing beyond Uganda. We know we are talking about Uganda, the custom part, custom made Hope 2020 for Uganda. But now you've given us this big picture with these very many numbers. Behind every number, there is a person and every person matters to God. And we as Ugandans, the 42 million people who God has placed in this nation, it is our moment to engage with them. Right now, I would like to invite our national team leader of Life Ministry Uganda, Mr. David Wataba, is going to come on and he will be sharing with us the big picture for Uganda and how each one of us as a Ugandan, as people who are associated with Uganda. I'm saying this because I know there are people who are joining in from other countries, not only in Uganda here. So I would like to welcome you, Mr. David Wataba, to come and share with us. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and praise the name of the living God. Uh, it was powerful hearing from Dr. Tariko what God is doing in uh, Southern and Eastern Africa. When we were beginning, uh, we, we were talking of of a hundred million people. The last couple of days we've been meeting almost every week and now we see 120 million people. Of course, we could ask ourselves, maybe should we stop so that, uh, I mean, we just celebrate, but we can't. Uh, there are many people who still need to hear the message. Uh, just uh, probably a reminder for some of us Life Ministry Uganda is a ministry of Campus Crusade for Christ. That is how we are joined uh, with Dr. Tariku on the area of Southern and Eastern Africa. It was founded in 1971. And uh, from July this year, we will be celebrating 50 years of existence. This is something that you need to be looking out for because we'll be sharing more about what the Lord has been doing over the last 50 years. Our purpose is to help fulfill the Great Commission. That's why we exist. And our vision is movements everywhere so that everyone will know someone who truly follows Jesus Christ. And our mission is simple. Win, build, and send. Win people to Christ, build them in Christ, and send them to do likewise. Uh, brothers and sisters, we are living in challenging yet exciting days. Challenging days because of COVID-19. That each one of us, uh, probably most of us have been locked up at home. Uh, we are living in a state of fear, in a state of anxiety, in a state of uncertainty. <clears throat> The Lord needs to help us. But these are exciting days as well because we could see the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Information and communication technology has made it possible for us to reach the majority of the people in their homes using television, using uh, social media, using radio broadcasts. You could even ask yourself, how are we going to reach the people in the village? We can reach them using radio broadcasts as well. We are living in a time of hopelessness. A time of hopelessness. If you look at uh, this uh, picture, you see people are being uh, instructed to stay at home don't touch, you don't want to greet anyone with uh, shaking hands, you can't hug, 
you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds every few minutes. You are reminded to stay safe. And now we are being told you are supposed to wear a mask in public. There's a lot of fear. Next. <clears throat> Our lives, church, work is closed. Okay. And there's a lot of fear, anxiety, uncertainty, domestic abuse and violence is growing. But I want to assure us that there is hope in Christ. There is hope in Christ. There is hope in Christ because the Bible says that Christ in us, the hope of glory. Colossians chapter one, verse 27. Christ has always been relevant to the world. Uh, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In fact, when you read in Isaiah 26, verse 20, the Lord God is watching out for the righteous, for the saints. He tells us, go into your houses, lock the doors until this calamity is past. But when you read Psalm uh, 57 verse 1, even those who cry out for mercy, those ones who may not necessarily be uh, walking with the Lord, they can cry out for mercy and the Lord will watch over them as well. The Lord is relevant for every time, for every situation in the world. Next slide. He is the lasting solution. People have been given food. People have been quarantined. People have been uh, uh, put in difficult situations, but only Christ can give us lasting solutions. Hope 2020 Uganda uh, version is a gospel response, just like the one for Southern and Eastern Africa. We wanted to respond to the COVID-19 situation with the message that even though we, the Christians, are like in chains locked at home, the gospel is not. And Christ is the answer to the problem of COVID. COVID uh, Hope 2020 is a, a catalyst to win, build, and send. Our desire is that we will reach 30 million people with the gospel and expo, uh, win 1.5 million to Christ and have 300,000 engaged disciples as a result of that winning. And 60,000 believers will be multiplying disciples. These are men and women who will go out and preach the gospel as well. We want to train one, uh, 2,000 digital missionaries and 40 staff of Life Ministry Uganda. This is doable. This is doable when we join our hands together. And it's already happening because we started in March. Uh, as soon as the lockdown was effected, we started training people. And Francis Mutatina will be sharing with us a little more about this. Now, which vehicles are we using to, to take the gospel to the people. We are going to use social media platforms. We are going to use your smartphone. For us, a smartphone is not a device to communicate, it's a device to preach the gospel. We're going to use television. Maybe some of you must have watched uh, the Jesus film uh, the different movies during Easter, we will use the Jesus room uh, greatly during this time. And the tools we are using, yes, the Jesus room media app, I pray that maybe before the end of today, you will have downloaded the Jesus room app on your, on your phone. Uh, it works for Android and for, for Apple uh, devices. And then we have another tool called God Tools, where you can find all evangelistic resources like, like the four spiritual laws. You can find um, 
uh, the Holy Spirit booklet, you can find many materials that would help you to lead others to Christ. And the benefit of this is all these resources can be shared online. And then we have a digital online missionary platform that we are using to, to reach out to, to people and do follow up and do counseling and do uh, prayers online. And we have everystudent.com, which is another uh, app that we are using to reach university and high school students. It helps answer literally every difficult question that you'll find in your Christian faith. Of course, we do all this with prayer because without prayer, it's impossible for us to reach the hearts of men. I have a question for us. If not now, then when? If not you and me, then who? I want us you to join us in prayer that the Lord will soften the hearts of men during these COVID days. The Lord will guide people's hearts to the divine, to start thinking of eternal things. But I also welcome you to join us at the, as a digital missionary, that the Lord will turn you where you are in the lockdown or in your workplace into a missionary who will engage others. We've just come to re realize that in the physical interaction in ministry, you are only able to reach about 10 people a week. And you are only able to disciple about five a week. But with the digital ministry, you are able to disciple hundreds because we have mechanisms to automate uh, messages and content to these people. You can get training. You can get training in how to do digital ministry. You see, a number of you have influence over media houses, television, radio. You could link up with these media houses so that we are able to give them uh, Jesus film and other content to be broadcasting weekly. Finally, there is hope in Christ that's what I would want to tell us. And I want to ask you a question. How will you respond to this call to give hope to a hopeless world? Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. David Watava, our national team leader, for yet again giving us a bigger picture for Life Ministry Uganda looking at those millions that we are hoping to reach out to. And I'd like to say, yes, we are hoping, but work is already going on. Things are happening and the ministry is going on. There have been trainings that have taken place. There have been outreaches. There is discipleship going on. At this time, I would like to share with you briefly about what has been happening here in Uganda. And this is an inspiration for us, even as we are sitting here, it's an encouragement that things are happening. I will share a broad perspective, then I will invite my brother Alex to share with us particularly about what is happening with Jesus Film and how we can even leverage or need. Jesus Film is a tool that has been used to reach very many people. And I know many of us people who are sitting here, over 100 people that are attending, some of us have interfaced or interacted with Jesus' film. Who knows, even some of us pray to receive Christ through Jesus' film. So let me share with you what is happening right now in Uganda, and then I will also invite my brother, Alex. We are going to go through what has been happening in Uganda ever since we launched Hope 2020, and what we are inviting you to be part of. We have so far trained 190 digital missionaries. And these have been trained in different places, in different locations. And we continue to roll that out as we'll be telling you. We have so far exposed the gospel to 19,790,129 people via TV broadcast 
and social media. The national team leader talked about the power within the social media, how you can reach many and disciple many. And out of that exposure, 97 people prayed to receive Christ. And 468 believers asked to be discipled. This as we exposed, as we reached out to people, this came out, they said that we would like to be discipled. And overall, as a nation, we are glad to say that through the activities and engagement of the staff, disciples, volunteers, associates, there are over 20,000 disciples across the country. Those that have direct interaction on a regular basis with the life ministry using the materials that we have and engaging with the partnerships we have in churches, in the marketplace, in universities, in high schools, in homes, wherever. So we are glad that God is doing that. I'd like to share with you one story from one of the people who after we got training, what he said, Mr. Henry Tenua, he's staff with Life Ministry Uganda, but he gained an experience of working with the digital tools as a digital missionary. And let me read his story here. He says, before we did the digital training in April, I had only 550 Facebook friends. Majority were born again Christians and well known to me. After the training, I gave myself a challenge to grow my Facebook friends to 1,500 to expand my exposure. This meant that I had to accept people whom I did not know, provided they did not have pornographic images in their profiles. I thank God that at the close of April, I had achieved way beyond my goal. My Facebook friends are now over 2,000 contacts. Over 1,500 of these are professionals in Uganda, Africa, and the world over. Mr. Henry Tenua works with the marketplace leaders and uh, is talking about 1,500 of those who are marketplace professionals who he interacts with. And over 2,500 people are being reached out to in one way or another some with the gospel presentation, others with encouragement and discipleship content that will help them. And here this comment also from one of our old staff, not old as in a age, but has been on staff for a long period of time, Mrs. Joy Oboya. This is what she says. Before I attended ministry from a distance webinar, I did not know what to do with contacts who were not on WhatsApp. After hearing about using SMS, now I am following up eight people using SMS. These are a few of the stories that we pick from the numbers we earlier showed you. And we know more others will be coming, will be interacting as we continue on. At the end of this time, we will show you our other interaction channels where we can be sharing resources together and uh, interacting all the more. I'd like now to invite on uh, Mr. Alex Triagumanawe, who is going to give us a glimpse of what is happening in Jesus' film as we come to the close of our time. Alex, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I am uh, glad I am here and I, I really I bless the Lord uh, for what he's doing already in Uganda and beyond. As uh, Mr. Uh, David has already said, uh, the Jesus Film resources that uh, is available and, and uh, is available for us to use. It's, uh, it's a resource that you can get from on a Jesus Film app, which you can go into your Play Store and uh, get it. I mean, uh, log in, uh, search for it, get Jesus Film app, and you down you install it on your phone, and so it will be able you'll be able to play. Uh, everything that you want on that resource, you'll be able to use all these resources uh, according to how you want as they are available to you. Um, I thank God that I work as, a, I serve as a National Jesus Film Coordinator here in Uganda, and I have been able to see thousands of people, of lives, 
I mean, thousands commit their lives unto Jesus Christ through the Jesus film, uh, like they have already shared on Facebook, on uh, using them on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, using them on our YouTube, using them on our statuses, using them on WhatsApp, using them on in any way you want. And so the resource is available to you and for everyone to use. The question is, why did we choose to use the Jesus film as, um, as uh, I mean, availing it to everyone? Most of you, you may know that you used to see either big screens uh, that were uh, mounted in your villages or in your towns to show Jesus film. But now we have reduced, we have purpose to put the resource on the phone, on uh, laptops, on any resource that you can, uh, you, you want to use. I can say um, we do this that, so that everyone, uh, everyone uh, holding that up is able to share Jesus Christ, is able to know Jesus Christ as uh, Lord and Savior and share with him, uh, I mean, share him everywhere. Friends, let me tell you, things change over time. Things change because when you look at how you used to live or your kind of way, I mean, your life that you used to live in the past, I mean, 10 years back, it's very different from the way we live now. As maybe as Alex and other people who are uh, before me, the young men and uh, women be, uh, that are I'm older, as, uh, that are younger than me. And so the thing that used to make you happy are not the thing that make them happy. The things that they used to enjoy are not the things that they enjoy now. Now, you can't mount that Jesus film on, uh, on, uh, on a campus, on a university campus, to show it, it's used to take one hour plus. There's no young man that will sit, or young woman that will sit to listen or to hear, I mean, to watch the Jesus film for, one, uh, for more than one hour. And so what, we have, what, what I told you is that um, things change, but how do we bring an unchanging gospel to a changing world? One of my mentors who is uh, here, who has just spoken, uh, shared with us, uh, Mr. David Wataba, one time he told me, uh, he said that even uh, change changes. We realize that change uh, is changing, so we need to understand the times we are living in as it is in, Korea, uh, in First Korea, 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 Chronicles 12:32. Then we need to remember that change does not make an appointment with our calendars, so it will come, and when it appears, it appears. So you need to ask that your eyes or my eyes will be opened, as Ephesians 1:15 says your eyes and my eyes should be open. Oh, we need to ask God to open our eyes for these changing times so that we can flow with them. How do we bring the unchanging gospel to the changing world? That should be a question. So in these changing times, we need to seize the moment. If God has given you that resource, which you are a trustee, uh, that phone, that laptop, whatever, the knowledge you have in your, in your mind, whatever that you have, that is, you need to remember that you are trusted. So you need to pass it on to those people who don't have or who don't know. How do I pass them to those who don't have? I need to pass the resources that are on that, my phone, on my tablet, on my laptop, in my head, what I know to the people outside there. Now, imagine um, God coming. Uh, in those days, God came from, I mean, he gave Moses the laws on the stone tablet. But friends, let me tell you, those stone tablets have been, I mean, God has replaced them with our gadgets. Now the tablets were the work of God, Exodus 30, 32, 16. And so God now has given us the new tablets because he says, I am making a new thing, Revelation 21, 5. He has written the laws on our tablets, on our phones, on our laptops, on in our mind. And so you need to share that as is. So what do we what have we brought? I mean, what is God doing? Because you say I am doing a new thing. There is there comes the Jesus film up. That's a new thing that God has brought us. And this Jesus film up knows no language barrier. It knows no language barrier. And so you can use it anywhere. You can speak with someone that you don't understand their language. 
in the training that's, I mean, we, uh, uh, I think we'll be running trainings soon. And so we will realize on how do I translate a Jesus film or any clip in a shortest time in one click, you have translated it to the language that, pers that person speaks that you want to share with. And so why the JF Media app? That's the question. Why the JF Media app? Because it is easy to use, uh, it is smart and an attractive tool. Uh, people are using mobile devices. It is geared to times, very practical, easily transferable. And once downloaded, you can use the resources that you have downloaded even outside there. It has resourceful materials. You know, two and a half years of resources on that app, two and a half years of resources on that app. It is mobile, you can use it anywhere. It's cost reducing uh, materials. And so what you need to know about Jesus Film app is that wherever you are, wherever, whenever you need it, whatever the language, it is in your hands. And so it is in your hands. So as we learn together, as we grow together, as we start to do that training, you will get to have that resource on your app, on your phone, and it's a matter of pulling out your phone from your pocket or from your hand, and you share these resources with anyone that is closer to you. Now, JF app, uh, this app offers us uh, a lot of things. One of them are the devotional series. You can do your devotional with your family. Now these days, we are, the, our pastors and the reverends, our bishops are encouraging us to do devotions with our families, to sit down and do services in our homes, be preachers and do all that. This is a resource that has all that that you need. So you can do devotions uh, on your phone. We have acted the books. The Gospel of Luke is already acted. You know it. Gospel of John is already there. Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Mark. Book, books of, uh, of Acts are already there. Working with Jesus, which is a discipleship tool that every child that has planted, I mean, people have used this to plant churches all over the world, all over the world. And it is helpful in discipleship, which I'm using on the university because I do university ministry and many other resources that are there. The story of Jesus for children. You have children and they are watching cartoons. This is a time for you to put the Christ Jesus story to them so that they learn to tell stories of Jesus Christ, which we call story clubs. And online courses are available over there. My brother, my sister, do you have a friend, a child, a brother or a sister, church member, workmate that is struggling with forgiveness, addictions like pornography, money and possession, etc. All these resources are already in that one app. It's a matter of you having that app of Jesus Film on your phone and share and experience the beauty with it and learn from it, do courses on it. I mean, help the people that are around you. I pray that you will buy into it. And when we call for the training, that you will come in and you learn how to use these resources that are available to us. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you, Alex, for this wonderful explanation about the Jesus Film app and also has connection with other tools like GoTools, like everystudent.com. At this time, we have about four minutes to come to the end of our time and would like to end our time with prayer. That prayer is going to be coming and uh, someone is going to be leading us in praying through the vision that we have had and the uh, the things that are going on, thanking God, are also committing the next steps to God. One of the next steps that we have thought about is giving training in digital mission. And we, as a team, have thought that we can do this training in a way that makes it possible for everyone of us to participate. So we have structured it to take place different hours of different days. To begin with, would like to start on Friday, on Thursday this week and Friday. And we have put two slots of time. One is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Another one is 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on both days. So after this 
uh, webinar, we will continue to communicate with you through the email, through all other ways that we can connect with you <laughs> and ask you to indicate to us when and how you'd like to be part of that. And while we are training, we'll also continue to do other engagements on our Facebook page, on our YouTube. There are already videos that you can watch that give the picture of what has been happening. And this very webinar will also be there. I'd like to invite Mrs. Elizabeth Asimwe. She's going to lead us in a time of prayer, praying through all this that we've talked about and also our next steps. So let's have Mrs. Elizabeth Asimwe. And after that prayer, we'll be closing our time together. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful time you have given us. We thank you that you are with us and we thank you that this is your doing. We thank you, Lord, that you knew this way before even the world was created. We thank you, Lord, for choosing us to be alive at this time and to be involved in this kind of work. Thank you, Jesus, for the wisdom that you give to your people to reach out. We want to thank you, Lord, that the gospel, though we are in lockdown, the gospel is not in lock. For that, we praise you, Lord, for the great wisdom. Our God and our Father, you are indeed with us. We want to thank you for Vision Hope 2020, and we thank you that it is from you. Thank you, Jesus, for these gadgets that you have given us to be able to reach out to your people. We bless you, Lord. We want to thank you for those that have been reached so far. We want to thank you for those we are going to reach. Lord, the numbers are here. We have talked about them, but we know that in your plan, you have greater numbers than what we think about. And we want to thank you for that. Lord, we want to thank you that you, people have already come to know you as Savior and Lord. We pray, oh God, our Father, that they will grow. That, Lord, as they grow, that they will also not just sit back, but as you commanded us, Lord, that they too will reach out to others, that there will be a multiplication process and that many people will come to know you as Savior and Lord. Lord God, we want to thank you for these plans that are underway. We want to thank you, Lord, for the social media platform that has already begun. Lord God, we pray that you'll help all of us who are involved and those we are going to train, help us to understand and help us to learn very quickly because the time is running out and that we will be able to reach as many people, Lord, as you want us to reach.